Dirty, dirty, dirty. Two things. First, this is not a largemouth bass lake. At this end of the lake, you've got a real steep, rocky, you know, a lot of rocky bottom. And then this lake that's known to be a smallmouth bass lake, which is exactly what 95% of it looks like, I found this little pocket of largemouth bass that live in here. And uh, that's what we're gonna go try to take advantage of today. It should be crazy to not be living right now. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Good one. Holy buckets. Good gracious, that was awesome. Well, that took us a whole lap around this pocket here. And like I said, he's back in the channels. Right now, the issue is the weeds are, are so thick that there's not that many channels, but he was way back in the little pocket back in the reeds there. I flipped the jig and you could see all of the reeds shake. And there he was. That's a beauty. Get this baby back in the water. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Doing a little research online, you go to the, the DNR for your state, for your lake, and I found that there are indeed some largemouth bass in this lake, but it's definitely way down the list. No, they don't manage it for largemouth. I thought, what if I actually try and target the largemouth? It's, it's the middle of summer, dog days. The smallmouth fishing isn't as uh, great for me as it is in the spring and the fall. I'm definitely a largemouth bass guy. What if I actually target largemouth in this lake? There. Come aboard. That is a beauty. That's the stuff right there. Ooh, 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 get in the bottom. <laughs> now you're getting this on film, right? Okay, you got the video on that, right? Oh, <laughs> it's like hand-to-hand -hand combat. And that's number two. Uh, this is about as close to hand-to-hand -hand combat mud wrestling with a largemouth bass that you'll ever get. You're going down the, the row of reeds and you're pitching quietly trying to get that big weight to still enter as quietly as it possibly can and all of a sudden you'll see a reed just and boom <clears throat> and everything just blows up i mean you've got eight feet of line to a five pound angry bass who's buried down he's in a foot of water so you see the water will just just swirl and blow up and um oh, i hope that's not getting on the camera there's nothing more exciting than that it's a gigantic adrenaline rush it's just a Slap in the face. Folks, you know, all this talk about adrenaline and fighting reminds me of something my dear sweet Mima used to say. Little lucky little Kev, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. That is some solid advice, Mima. Now, folks, let me show you exactly which gun we're going to need for this fight. The punch rig. This is a lure that forces its way into the thickest cover and gets right in the face of the biggest bass in your lake. Now let's break it down. It all starts with a super stout, straight shanked, wide gap, four to five aught hook. And here's a little trick. Use a piece of electrical shrink tube to create a super sweet bait keeper. This is going to keep your bait from tearing off your hook every other cast. Next is the weight. Tungsten is more dense than lead, so a super heavy bullet can be surprisingly small and able to sneak through the smallest openings in thick cover. Now to keep that big weight in place without compromising the strength of your line, like jamming a toothpick in there would do, use a couple of slip bobber stops. Yes, they're the same ones you'd use for crappie fishing. Finally, 
Texas rig your favorite creature style soft plastic. Go with whatever you're confident in, but look for something bulky to move a lot of water, but compact and sleek to slide through cover without hanging out. And it probably goes without saying, but tie this with some serious braided line. I mean a minimum of 50 pound test. Now you've got what it takes to punch, push, and kick your way right into the big one's living when room. When are you going to find a nice Barbie and settle down? What? Mima, not now. I don't want to see you with one of those Bratz dolls either. Mima, sorry folks, we gotta go. Why don't you call me anymore? Well, for one, you died years ago. Fish Education Theater! Get that guy back. Look at my boat. Look at my boat. Look at my shirt. Look at my hands. They're living in the mud. There can't be enough water to cover their backs. God. One quick little tip that I definitely learned the hard way is I'm right-handed and when I'm pitching, I'm pitching with my right hand, but then the handle on a bait casting reel is also on the right. So if I were really smart, I'd take the time to learn how to reel in a left-handed reel. But since I'm not that smart, I have to be at least smart enough to make the pitch and switch hands immediately. Uh, like I mentioned before, if you're not ready, that the bites happen right away. And if, if I make the pitch and the bite happens and I set the hook with my right hand, that split second when I need to switch hands and keep applying pressure to them has been the time I've lost them. So I, I learned that the hard way a couple times. Uh, I know it's tedious, it's pitch after pitch, but I switch hands constantly. Only way you're going to keep, uh, keep the fish coming in the boat. Do a little map study, do a little research, and see if you can find a little gem like this. I, I promise you nobody else has caught one of these largemouth doing the same thing that I'm doing uh, until I tell you all you guys about it, and then next year I'll see you out there. And there you go. God, it happened so fast. It's... <laughs> You, uh, you make a hundred, two hundred pitches to get, uh, to get that one second, you know. Uh, he's a beauty. He's not as big as the others, but I am glad to have him. It's been a sweet afternoon. Uh, the place is a mess. I'm just beat. Holy cow, that's a, that's a big day for a guy uh, my age. <laughs> Push pulling, uh, wrestling these bass, but... Uh, Man, that's a good time, and on a lake that's not supposed to have largemouth bass. Shh. Ah, oh, let's put her back.